Welcome to Missouri. Hey, we made it to Missouri. Our dogs haven't peed on Missouri yet. I know. <laughs> Once the dogs pee on Missouri, we can add our sticker to the map. <laughs> have hit another milestone. We get to add some states to our map. Hey, look here. Look here. This is the kid's first picture in Iowa. Well, we've already put Kansas on the map. So now we're just gonna do Missouri because we went through Missouri and stopped there a couple times. And Iowa, which we are, and we are in Iowa now. Yep, guess we're next. <laughs> we think Cracker Barrel again. We're, yes, we're gonna eat here again and pay our patronage to the Cracker Barrel for letting us stay. We are sure appreciative of Cracker Barrel, but we are now in Des Moines, so we we like to keep it moving. Oh, that is neat. What is it? Wow! It's a ring and wash machine. Oh. When I was three years old, my hand went through it. Oh my god. Do you still have your fingers? Wow. What is that? Butter churner? Alright, tax day is coming up May 17th this year. So instead of extending them to October, I'm going to try to find. We're waiting to. We're we need to do our taxes. I'm getting stressed out, and thank you. And we're about to take off. All right, so I'm feeling stressed because tax day is coming up, and I need to get that done um, ASAP. So uh, being on the road and being stressed from doing taxes is not fun. So we have to find a stopping point and internet so I can get that done. Look at how cute she is. So if you know, if you're on the road full time, you know the struggle of getting your taxes done. You have to have internet. As I actually do our taxes, so um, I have to find internet to be able to work on those. So yeah, the struggle is real. I'm in a hurry because we're about to take off to go to our next destination. I think we've come up with a plan. We're gonna head to the rest stop and try to dump some of our gray tank and find water. We definitely need water now been docking for a couple weeks. We've made it to Rock Creek State Park and we're going to be camping here for a couple nights. It shows to go over the little lake here. We'll find out all the details and put it in the video. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Rock Creek East Street. Sure is pretty. It's right on the water. Maybe, oh it's Saturday by the way, so hopefully we'll find something if not, I don't know. Because we need what? There's keys with their baby. Oh, 
Oh, it says no camping in this area again. I don't understand. Why does it say no camping? Where are the RVs? Turn right onto Highway F. All right, the first two areas you can't camp. Take the next right onto Rock Creek East Street. There we go. You have to go all the way out to the third entrance, which is Rock Creek East Campground entrance. There we go. It's a picnic area, park office, and campground. Okay, park office and ranger to the left. We need registration. Campground and registration right here. The nature trail. This is going to be really pretty. This is beautiful. We are impressed with our first visit to Iowa. This is really pretty. There was Jesus. Okay, so how do you do this? You stop here. Campers, please self-register. I'm afraid it might be cool. drove around the campground a little while looking for the perfect spot for both the both of us and after a little while we luckily found that we had several to choose from. Well we reserved a couple of nights. Oh look at the puppy! Cotton puff going down the road. <laughs> it looks kind of like little Danny. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, parked here at the Ro Rock Creek State Park. He just went and filled up with water because there's no water spigot. Plus, our um, city water hookup is leaky, so we just do our fresh tank and just um, fill it up as needed. And then they're parked right next to us. So we share a front yard here. We're got a picnic table and a grill, and I think we're gonna do some grilling here, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it's beautiful, right by the water. Gorgeous. There's several nature trails here. Yeah. Homer and Catherine did their Take the next hamburgers right. last night. Homer cooked hamburgers on his grill last night. So tonight I'm doing a, a tonight I'm doing a um, Italian spaghetti and salad. Some cool pictures of them, that, those statues. Oh yeah, those there are cool. some cool statues up here. I think I may have shown them on the way in. But I'm gonna do some spaghetti tonight, so we're gonna head to Walmart. It's about 17 minutes, about nine over nine miles. I guess there's curvy roads. I don't know, but it's kind of rainy this weekend. Everybody cleared out today. Canadian That's Geese Crossing cool. here. <laughs> Cute. Oh, oh he's a, what you doing? He says, huh? get out the way. Uh, this is our <laughs> road, not yours. Oh. Well, let, let them make puppy. Cute. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to wait. Yeah, I hope this Don't car... Don't it. No, he better not. I've got it on video if they do. Yeah. Okay. There the kids are. Playing with some friends. Or fishing, actually. Boy, this park really cleared out. Big time. Cheslin's over there with Catherine watching some movies. Man, this place is, is pretty empty now. <laughs> it got rainy and chilly and... I don't know, I kind of like it. I, we needed some rain. I love rain. Now I'm gonna get started on the spaghetti. I'm making Italian spaghetti with ground beef and Italian sausage links and salad. We got some desserts for the kids and for Homer, he wanted cookies. Homer wanted cookies. <laughs> so I got him some cookies. <laughs> It smells like an Italian eatery in here. Got some homemade sauce with meat and our ground beef and Italian sausage. It's simmering. And I have some 
hand buttered garlic bread. I've got a whole nother pan in here, but we're waiting on, on it. And I'm getting the water ready for my uh, angel hair pasta, which I'm going to put in here in a minute. I always like to pair my spaghetti with a hand tossed salad. I put some carrots in there and some kale, some romaine, and I think there's some broccoli stock in there, broccoli slaw, and some red cabbage. Yum! Looking good. Hello, worm. Here's bathrooms. It looks like they're doing a bunch of upgrades, maybe? I don't know. To the lawn. There's your stalls. Very run down. It's hot water. Uh, they have a bench here to sit on. It's big in here. They have three shower stalls. Not the cleanest, but does the job. I just used this one. It's hot water. You have a little uh, separating station here to put your stuff. A dressing room. And this campground is $20 a night. <clears throat> they have a camp post and you drop it in the registration box underneath it after you fill out your card that you put on your um, post out front. 20 bucks a night. You got electric and you don't have water at your site. We didn't. And they do have a dump and potable water around the park. They have one of these bulk dryers. These are actually cage dryers for your grooming cages. But it's nice that they can, uh, they have a dryer down here to keep your feet and stuff warm. But that can't be safe underneath the sink. You can't get those wet. It's plugged in. They need to do a, a painting and a good cleaning job in here. It would be uh, much more presentable. We have a little bit of a leak over there. Pouring down rain all night. Yeah, it was nice to get a hot shower and not have to do it in the rig where we had room to spread out and not have to worry about the water running cold. Can't complain about that. It's, it was a nice hot shower and it felt good. It really was. Yeah. We're glad they had had those facilities here. And for 20 bucks, you know, um, it's a really nice park. It, it, you have, a, again, you have electricity at your site. Somebody's flippity flopping around. <laughs> and, um, We've got dumpsters here, and there's two dump stations up ahead on your way in and on your way out. And there we are. There are cabins over there, which I didn't know. And this is, there's like three huge entrances to the park. The dump station on the way out and on the way in. Oh, this is the statue work that they have here. It's so cute. They have a big mouth bass it looks like raccoons an owl I don't know if that's a pelican I don't know look at the squirrel those are so cute so we're gonna go up here we're checking out I don't think you have to do anything to check out but right there is the uh, registration there are the envelopes in there and then under that there's a post where you drop your payment on the right side there. Yeah. Again, this is Rock Creek State Park in Iowa. It was really nice and totally worth it for 20 bucks a night. We stayed two nights. Had hot showers. Beautiful grounds. I didn't get to do much on the grounds because I literally worked on videos the whole time. The internet's not great. In fact, I didn't have internet a lot of the time. I had to use a hot spot. But there's a town called Grinnell, which is about 10 miles away. They have a Walmart and everything. And it's a beautiful drive.
over here they have potable water. There's a, a sign that says potable water, which is on the opposite side of the dump. So that's your clean water. And it looks like they are doing some upgrades, although I don't know what, because I haven't seen anyone working on it. Maybe when it stops raining, there'll be people out here doing stuff. But it's a beautiful place. I do recommend it. Yes, we're ready to go. See him playing? We're running and we're running and playing. How cute are they? <laughs> Hi! Sweet. That's too much. That's just too much. <laughs> Aww.